Kim, your dress, can you tell me about it, How you, where you found it? I found it in the bridal building in Manhattan um, after much searching and uh, just knew it when I saw it and tried it on that that was the one. And Good. Tiny. I can't find it. I couldn't either. The closest to me. The groom suite. The groom suite. Yeah. Nicely accommodated. Christopher. I, Christopher. Take you, Kimberly. Take you, Kimberly. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise. I promise. To be true to you. To be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. This is just a portrait. She's done so well all along, and she certainly has been my partner in crime. She's gotten me through a lot of trials and tribulations, and no matter what, 
happened in my life, I know that Kim was always there to listen. Kim and I met on a blind date of all things on uh, August um, September 16th. My father, you know, my father told me about this wonderful girl sometime during the summer that I just needed to meet. And um, I was away in August. I was on Route 66 when we started corresponding, and uh, we managed to set up a blind date in Cold Spring. And uh, I had other things, other interests that day. I wanted to go to a car show. I really didn't want to go. I just wanted to quick and still get to the car show. Well, to make a long story short, I got there at 12 and we didn't leave until the sun started going down. So we were supposed to have a cup of coffee and we just ended up being there all day long. And I tried to kiss her goodnight, but she said, no, 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 I'm not having any of that. No, no, no. <laughs> healthy life. Get your ass a car out ASAP. Sink it, 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 Thank you, good night.